What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we have a very exciting one because no other but Primark has finally decided to open their gates into heaven and obviously I couldn't help myself. I had to go. For the past three or four months, I've literally been having Primark withdrawals. That's how much I've missed it. So when they finally announced that they were opening a couple of their stores, I was just like, yes, I'm literally going to be the first one in the queue. And so I I have picked out a massive haul of Primark goodies to show you guys because I've literally been so excited to see what they were gonna bring out post lockdown. I was really wondering what it would be like in store in terms of the clothing that they had because obviously they shut in like March or February even. I can't remember exactly. So I was just wondering if they would have like the old stock from those months or whether they would have like new things for the summer. To be honest though, I wasn't disappointed with what they had in. They had a lot of really nice clothes, including this little crop top right here, which you guys will see in a sec. So yeah, I definitely didn't hold back. I picked up two of these massive bags of goodies and I can't wait to show you guys. If you guys are brand new here and you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also, make sure you guys follow me on social media at Roxora so you guys can hang out with me over there as well. But if you guys wanna see what I picked up from Primark, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so first things first, I quickly wanna mention that I have literally not a single piece of clothing that's like colorful. Everything in this video is like neutral, beige, cream, white, and baby pink. So if those are not really your color schemes, maybe this video isn't for you, but that's the kind of thing that I really like. So that is why I picked up literally just that. Okay, so with that said, the first thing that I've picked up is this gorgeous powdery pink kind of dress. It is kind of a long dress. It's kind of like a midi dress, but I am just obsessed with it. Look how pretty it is. I absolutely love the tiny little dainty buttons that go all the way down the dress. I love the puffed out sleeves. This dress is literally everything. I would say the overall fabric is made of like a really lightweight kind of cotton, but it has got quite a lot of holes in it because it is kind of like a lace effect. Now this dress cost 18 pounds, which I would say is kind of expensive for Primark. I would say recently Primark has kind of upped their prices on certain things. Like I swear things used to be a lot cheaper at Primark, but I'm really not complaining because the quality is nice. And if I was to get something like this at Topshop, let's say, it probably would be like 30 pounds plus. But yeah, this is the first dress. I am just obsessed with it. I cannot wait until I can finally travel again so I can take this on holiday with me. The next item I got is actually a pair of shoes. So I just saw these little mules and I just fell in love. They're so freaking cute. And again, I thought these would be great for when we can finally travel again. I can just imagine wearing these to the beach. They just look so adorable and I love the fact that they're kind of like woven. Also they happen to be my favorite color which is like a creamy beigey nude and I just feel like these will go with anything. I know that some people are kind of on the fence about Primark shoes in terms of their quality but I would say these seem really nice quality. They don't look like they're gonna fall apart literally in like a few weeks so that's great and the sole of them is kind of like a tiny bit cushioned so I feel like they will be quite comfortable. Okay so the next item is actually a cute little top which is actually very similar in terms of fabric to the dress that I just showed you guys. It's this top right here. I just love it so much. It's the kind of thing that I see in like Zara all the freaking time and it's probably double the price tag. This was only 13 pounds, which I think is really good for a really nice top like this. I would say this is kind of like a peplum style shirt, which I really, really love. I love the fact that it's V-neck. And again, it's got the really nice puffy sleeves, which I think is so cute. These are the kinds of tops that I think are perfect and a staple for summer because you can literally just dress it up, dress it down. You could wear this with some jeans or a pair of nice shorts and I just think it'll go well with anything. Now the next item I'm a little bit on the fence about so I will need you guys' input to let me know if I should keep this or not because I'm not really too sure. I kind of picked it up because I like the color but I don't know about the style. Anyways, this is it. It's basically like a very relaxed, slouchy kind of top. I really liked the color of it because it's kind of like that beigey, tan kind of color, which I absolutely love. I liked the fact that it's v-neck, but I also like the fact that it's got like this little wooden button, which I think is really cute. It does have this like tie in effect, which I guess you can like cinch it in at the waist and maybe that'll look better. But let me know what you guys think. Should I keep this? Should I return it? I just thought I might as well pick it up and just try it on to see. This is something a little bit different for me in the sense of like the style of the top 
but I'm willing to give it a try. Also, this was 11 pounds, which again is not very expensive at all. Well, would you look at that? We have yet another shirt. I just don't know why I picked up so many shirts. I guess it's because it's like the only thing you guys can really see on camera when I film these like sit down videos. So I'm always on the lookout for like really cute tops that have like a nice neckline and a nice top half. So when I saw this, I just knew I had to get it because it's just so girly. It's so feminine, so delicate and dainty. I absolutely love the color first of all. I just think it's so pretty and like really flattering. But I'm just obsessed with these like little frills. I just think it has like a very Victorian kind of vibe to it, which I absolutely love Victorian fashion. This was actually 15 pounds, which I would say is a little bit more pricey, but at the same time, there is a little bit more to it. Like it's not just a basic top. It is like a nice top. I just think it's so beautiful. I have no idea how I would style this. Maybe with just like a white pair of jeans or something, but I just thought it was too cute to pass up. So I had to get it. Now the next item is a slightly more like a bougie, sophisticated kind of clothing item, which I personally don't really see myself wearing that often, but I saw it and I thought maybe there'll be an occasion one day. So I picked out this, which is actually a bit of a suit dress, I would say, but it hasn't got any sleeves. I just really, really liked this, obviously because of the color. First of all, let's just talk about that. I just love the color so much. But I really also liked the belt. Like it's kind of got that tortoise shell sort of effect on the belt and the buttons. And I really, really like the texture of the dress too. You guys may not be able to see this on camera, but it's kind of got like a ridged sort of effect to it. So it has a bit of a texture, which I really like. So yeah, again, this is a little bit more sophisticated to my usual wardrobe. Most of the time you'll find me in like joggers and a slouchy baggy shirt. So again, this is definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm willing to give it a go and I'm willing to actually dress like I've got my ish together for once. This was actually 23 pounds, which I don't think is too bad for a suit dress. I think that's actually a reasonable price. Okay guys, the next item is probably one that I'm most excited for because of how much of a steal it was. It was literally a bargain and it's this. It's a little straw hat, but I am just obsessed with it. It's a little bit creased, so don't mind that, but I think it's so cute. This hat was only three pounds. Could you believe that? Like this is such a nice straw hat. I basically bought this hat knowing full well that I will not be traveling anywhere anytime soon. But just wearing it makes me feel a little bit better about that. So why not? This hat was only three pounds. I am just obsessed with it. I think it's so cute and I'm definitely, definitely gonna be taking it on holiday with me eventually. Now next up we have yet another dress. This one is a little bit more like floaty and relaxed. This is what the top half looks like. It's kind of like an off the shoulder little moment. It's bardo. And it's got a slight puffy sleeve as well, which I think is really cute. It then just goes all the way down. I would say this is a midi dress, so it's not too long and not too short, kind of like the mid length. But again, I thought this would be really cute for summer, for like a barbecue or even when you're going on holiday. And in case you guys are wondering, this one was 18 pounds. Now we all know this, Primark is literally the home of basics. If you need any kind of basic, go to Primark because they'll probably have it. So I actually picked up this little body, which is kind of like a halter neck style. I would say it has got the little claspy crotchy thing and it looks like this from the back It's kind of like a scoop neck. This was very inexpensive It was only six pounds and I actually got this in a size too extra small, but it really doesn't look like an extra small. To me, this just kind of looks like a regular small. And I've got to say, recently Primark sizes have really been off for me. Let me know if you guys have had the same problem, but I used to always just get like a small, maybe sometimes medium, but now I actually have to get an extra small just so that it can be a small on me, which I think is really strange. Let me know if you guys have the same thing. The next item I got is actually a little pair of jeans. So I picked up these because they looked so freaking cute on the hanger, first of all. They're just basically, like little white mum jeans. Um, they're kind of like relaxed fit, so not too skinny. To be honest, the skinny jeans days are kind of over for me. Like I'm not really all about them anymore. So I thought I would try these out and see how they fit. Again, I got this in a smaller size than usual. I'm usually a size eight, maybe sometimes even 10 for bottoms, but I ended up getting a size six. Just because mum jeans can sometimes be a little bit like more oversized, which I don't really like. I like them to be a bit more fitted, especially around the waist. These were actually 15 pounds 
pounds, which I would say is like a regular price for jeans. In fact, maybe a little bit cheaper than other places too. So I really, really like these and I can't wait to style them with a load of different outfits. Now the next item I picked up is actually a pair of shades. I am just obsessed with these. Look how freaking cute these little sunglasses are. I am obsessed with these. These are like baby pink, but they're not like too much, you know? Personally, I love any sunglasses that are like facelifting in a way, but also show your brows on top. But that's like a really big thing for me. So yeah, again, I can't wait to go on holiday to be able to wear these. These are so cute and they were only three pounds, so inexpensive. And now the very last two items I picked up for this haul is actually this beige suit, which as soon as I saw it, I was just obsessed. It's kind of made of that same fabric as that suit dress, which I really, really like. So the blazer is very lightweight and it was actually 15 pounds, which I would say is a little bit pricey for what it is because it isn't really made of like the thickest fabric at all. This doesn't actually have real pockets. They're just dummy ones, which I think is so annoying when companies do that. Like, why can you not just make a real pocket? Why? But yeah, I picked it up anyway. I just thought it was really cute. And these are the trousers that go with it. They're made of the same fabric. They don't have real pockets either. Come on. The trousers, however, were only 13 pounds. So I guess for a suit like this, it's not that bad, but let me know what you guys think. So as you guys know, I absolutely love anything in this color. I feel like I will definitely get a lot of use out of this. So anyways, that is all for this Primark haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and maybe it helped you like choose whether you actually want to go into store to see what you can get for yourself. I know the Primark doesn't really have a website so personally I really rely on people's hauls from Primark just so that I can kind of decide whether I really want to go into store or not so I don't have to waste my time. Let me know down below which one of these items was your favorite. I personally can't really choose. I love everything that I picked out. I may return one or two things from this haul just because I know I don't really need any more clothing. Let's be real. So if you guys want to help me out and let me know which one of these items I should definitely keep then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I really, really appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!